this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have another preview video that is a haul type video for my live sale, which is every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And this is for my upcoming sale on December 16th. I'm going to show part two of all the wonderful items that I'm going to have um, for sale. Plus, I'll probably have a few um other items that I sneak in that are not included in the preview. So definitely want to come to my sale. And I'm going to start right over here and show off this beautiful. Now, this is just a single Lefton candlestick holder, but um, it is beautiful with the nice pink rose on there. Uh, so I think it's very nice on its own. Next, I have a stainless steel um, like gravy tray or gravy boat um, with the under tray. And what I really like is this is made in Japan. It does have a sticker on the bottom. And it has this great mid-century modern because it's got the stainless steel and the wood handles. Really like that look. And next, I have... There we go. <laughs> this great jello mold, and it is this beautiful rose pattern. And this is marked um, 1963 that this was made. And it's in really great condition. And it's a pretty um, lighter, rosier color than just the standard copper color, which was really nice. And then I have one more little metal um, item here. And this is a um, aluminum uh, dish or plate. And it has this beautiful Celtic knot pattern. And this is by Canterbury Arts. And even the edge here is beautiful. This is hand forged. Just really nice. And then I have a few vases. So this is a beautiful one with like cherry blossoms and this nice um, kind of aqua color blue bird on it. And it's got the cherry blossoms on top also. And this is a really fun one because it's kind of that um, double handled shape there. And it has these two adorable little cats on the front. And there we go. This is a very nice. Um, this is a golder color than just your regular amber. It's a very honey gold color and beautiful detailing like wheat in the middle here. And then the edges have the crisscross and then this kind of fan design. But there's a lot going on here. And this is just a beautiful dish. And there we go. Next, this is from Portugal. And it's hand painted. And it's beautiful colors of pink and purple and kind of this wine color and even the lid is also painted with the beautiful flowers. So that's very nice. And then this guy, oh, I love this guy. This is a hobby painted, hobbyist painted piece. It's just a hand done, but look how cute he is. And he's got his little pants and overalls all the way around and a little patch right there and a little patch there. He is so cute. And he is a bank. Love him. And he was done in, what, 1960. Oh, gosh, now I can't find the date. 1969, he was done. Um, here is an adorable baby um, vase planter. And this is probably, gosh, I don't know. There's numbers on the bottom, which makes me think that it's like Lefton or uh, what's the other one? Like Anarcho. Um, 
and his the little giraffe and the little pony and the little elephant all done in pink and blue and yellow for a carousel. And then here's a beautiful bowl. Love this. This is a nice um, emerald green. And I believe this is the Hazel Atlas Capri dot pattern. It has three rows of dots in here. Very boho mod looking. And then the bottom here has this really nice detailing that it sits on top of. But it's just a really, really great, and I love the way it picks up the light there. <laughs> and then I have, oh, the Blue Bow Geese making a comeback. This is a recipe box, nice wooden recipe box, and it has a um, hook back here, so you could actually hang this on the wall for your recipes. And then I'm going to come over on this side, and I have this Christopher Stewart Bone China server that has strawberries on it. Um, yes, I am ready for spring. <laughs> Even though winter really hasn't even started yet, <laughs> but I am going to be ready for spring. And so I thought that was really a great way of getting that in there. And uh, then this is an Italian, like a little pitcher, um, could even be a creamer, but looks more like a pitcher with this terrific rooster on here and this great big plume of a tail, all hand painted Italian. And then here from Holland, we have a Delft vase with a windmill on it. And this vase on the bottom is dated 1982 or 1984 on that one. So that has a bit of age to it. And, um, oh, I'm going to do this next. Um, now, in the last video I showed, there was a um, Afghan that was um, done by my, I'm going to say grandmother-in-law because she was my grandmother by marriage is why I kind of called her that. And this is another item that she made and it is a, a teapot cozy. And for all the boho people here, it's got the great brown and orange and a pom-pom on top. And then the other side is the opposite. So we have the orange on the outer and the brown on the inside. And here we have the brown on the outer and the orange on the inside. And then we've got the holes for the spout and the handle. And then kind of on the same line of some crocheted things, I have this great bag. This is wonderful for a crafter looking for parts uh, because this has all kinds of parts to it, all um, crocheted and just ready to be put into a project. And then I have a piece of fabric, which is another great um, bit for a project. And this strawberries, again, great for springtime projects um, or summertime. And this, I, I was really surprised. This one actually says here, um, well, it says on the lining somewhere that it's American Greetings. And then it, this is also says Holly Hobby, but this isn't quite the Holly Hobby design that I remember, but I really liked the strawberries on there. And I liked how this is kind of its own little patch in there. So this is a fun, it's not very big, um, but it's definitely something that you could get a couple projects off of. And then this, um, this I believe was a, like a, some kind of school project because on the back it has the gal's name 
and it also says A plus late and then B plus. So I'm not sure if she got an A plus or a B plus on this, but uh, it's a nice cutting board and it's got a nice handle for hanging and this adorable little girl and her chicks and these pretty flowers that kind of look like Easter eggs. And then I've got a couple more pieces of art, and these are not framed pieces. Um, but this one is, this is a beautiful piece, and this is not an original, but um, this is by an artist, and I'm not even going to try to butcher his name, but he lived from 1760 to 1849. And this is one of 36 views of Mount Fuji that he painted. And this one is a different artist. And he lived from 1797 to 1858. And this is part of a series that I believe there are 119, oh, it says, oh, no, one of 100 famous views of Tokyo. And this is part of that series. But they're very nicely um, reprinted and ready to frame and beautiful pictures. And then this one is fun. This is by a local artist. Um, Unfortunately, it's not dated, and I really wish it was, but it is signed by the artist down here, and it's this cat jumping down on a sleeping dog, <laughs> and it says, someone has to ruin your life. It might as well be me. <laughs> and then here, I have, this is a great pegboard shopping reminder. Um, it unfortunately doesn't have any of the pegs which would be stored down here and it did have a sticker. I did remove the sticker that was here because it was not um, part of the subject matter but it, it this actually looks better than what it did look like with the sticker so <laughs> this is a big improvement. Um, but yeah, so you would put your pegs in here and then as you needed things, you would just move the pegs in to remind yourself to buy lemons and soap and onions and all those good things. But I love the colors in here, very orange and yellow, um, coppery kind of looking. So, um, so it'd be a really fun addition to a kitchen. And then I have this beautiful box of hankies. And these are, oops, the plastic's coming off there. These are made in Switzerland. And there are three hankies in here. The blue one is all the way open. And then the pink one is folded and the yellow one is folded. So there are three hankies in here in the beautiful box. And then I have another cutting board, and this one is really fun subject matter. So you have the old stove and the coal, the pan, the scale, the corn drying. Um, and this is by Nevco, which I've seen Nevco before that actually said that it was made in Yugoslavia. So I would imagine this is probably, again, something from the 70s or 80s that was made in Yugoslavia. And then um, then my, my two favorite, well, I'll talk real quickly here before I get to my two favorite pieces. So again, last my last video, I showed an Afghan that I was going to be having in the sale. And I'm also going to be having four more Afghans. So down here, there we go, is the um, red, white, and blue striped one. This, this one is a blue and white floral, um, and it has these pop-out flowers in the middle. Then behind me here, oh goodness, now I'm going to sneeze, is the blue, excuse me, it's a blue and white striped um, quilt, uh, quilt, 
<laughs> Afghan. <laughs> oh, goodness. I sneeze and then I scramble my brains. And then this one is um, has the beautiful flowers, like tulips on it, that's done in the um, purple and pink and um, kind of a mauve color also. So those four are going to be available for sale. And um, they kind of measure the one last in my last video was very large and would probably fit like a double bed or so. These ones are a little bit smaller than that, but still uh, pretty good. And then it kind of goes down from like ones that could possibly fit on a bed to ones that are more for like a lap quilt or lap afghan <laughs> and I do have all the measurements on those that I will be going over in my sale and um, then I have this guy and he is just delightful he is a latch hook and he's really nicely finished on the back so he's ready to be hung and he's this great owl sitting on a branch so I just, he's, I, I did lots of latch hooks in my time. So I know that well and enjoy that very much. And then my last and probably favorite item here is this one. And this is an original. This is painted on the canvas. And, uh, and this is just beautifully done. And it is um, on a um, nailed onto a wood frame. And on the back, it says Hanging in Dale's Room 1969. And so it's this just this fabulous. Um, that, oh, I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, it's this fabulous work. And I did um, find what this is um, based off of. Now, I could not quite read whose signature is on here, um, but it does, this is painted off of another work. Um, and so I do have that information written down. And in my sale, I'll go over that in a little more detail, but I just love this guy. He is just so precious and a great example of the kind of fun art that was around in the late 60s. And so that is part two of the preview for my live sale, which is going to be Wednesday, December 16th on my YouTube channel at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, and I hope to see you there. And if you'd like to purchase any of these items, they're available for purchase now. You don't have to wait till the sale because I have more items. If, if people are interested in things, I have more items that I can bring into the sale. Uh, so just um, leave comments in the video or you can send me an email. And my email address is down below in the description. I am also on Instagram and there's a link there if you'd like to send me a, a DM. And um, please like this video and <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I go live and when I put out new videos. And if you have any questions on anything, um, please feel free to leave those behind in the description. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you at my sale and take care and I will see you next time.